Good morning. Okay, so um, today I'm having a down day. Now, I had a phone call yesterday that kind of enlightened me on a situation. Um, the person was talking about how they've been hanging out with this drug dealer more and more lately and how it may, you know, I don't know, just in general. And I was like, you know, and then I'm like sitting here thinking to myself, well, why does this person not ever want to hang with me? I mean, she's always doing all this other crap with people that are unsavory, of the unsavory kind. And then I find out it's because she can't control her kids, therefore she can't hang out with me. So, so now it's my problem that her kids are unruly, bad behaved children that I'm the one that, you know, gets, you know, basically left in the dust because I hold children to a higher standard that they should act a, a certain way. And yeah, I get it. I mean, I'm not asking, uh, you know, for perfect little angels, but I am asking for kids that don't scream all the time, demand to get what they want all the time. Uh, it, to have somebody say that they don't want to hang with me because they have shitty children that they can't take care of kind of makes me feel like shit. Like, like they don't, they don't give it, you know, they don't care about my, you know, I don't know. I guess it does kind of sound like I'm, I don't know, being a, you know, a bitch or something, but I guess it kind of affected me more than I thought it would. I don't also particularly like being lied to as well. I mean, I've been struggling with my weight for months now to try to get back from uh, what I had just ballooned 60 pounds from what I was fluctuating with my hormones there. I mean, I'm, I'm losing weight, but I'm losing it like, I don't know, a couple pounds here and there every week or so. You know, something you would expect. It's been very gradual. I'm down to, I started out at, um, 160 something, or not 260 something, and now I'm down to... 257 or something you know I'm down almost 15 pounds and here this person is I'm down 30 pounds but hey I'm not doing drugs or anything and it's like they can't tell me the truth because I had asked her to stop lying to me because she reminds me it reminds me of my mom when she sits there and lies to me about Oh, you know, if you can't tell me how long it's been since you were sober, that's a very big indication that you are not sober. I can tell you the day I quit drinking alcohol, last February 16th, last year, it has been February, March, April, May, it has been... 11, uh, 12, 13, 14, 15. It's been 15 months for me being sober off alcohol since I was, you know, told that I need to, you know, stop drinking alcohol because I'm an alcoholic, you know? And it's been, it'll be five years here in June that I have not had a cigarette, that I have not had alcohol, or, um, not, bleh, cigarettes, caffeine, or pop, you know? It's been five years for both of those things. To say, I don't keep track or, I, you know, I, I lost track after the first week. That's lying to me. Do I, I mean, I don't need lies. I mean, if you're going to say, yeah, I've fallen off the wagon or, um, yeah, it's summer vacation's coming up and I want to be skinny for it. You don't fucking think that other people want to be skinny too? I don't want to be lied to about fucking bullshit. And they'll just... I need to, um, if it looks like it's going to be sunnier today, or, you know, I just, I need to do something for me today. I, I'm, I'm going to have to craft, or I'm going to have to do something, because I'm having a very emotional day, and I need to let it out in a more creative way, because 
I'm finding out that I can't know this person won't hang out with me because her kids are fucking brats. And just because I said I don't want to be around other people's kids when they act like shitholes. Well, you know what that means? Fucking take control of your fucking kids and actually do something parent wise. Fuck. Why is that my fault? Why do I have to feel sad because you are unwilling to teach your kids some manners? I don't, I don't get it. I, I really don't get it. I don't even know if I'm going to put this up on YouTube because I'm quite upset. Like I said, there are days that I just have these, emo you know, it's like, I've been sitting here wondering for weeks, you know, I'll tell her I want to hang with her or like, she complains about how nobody wants to do anything or so for like a while there, I was asking her, texting her, hey, you want to hang out? I'm in my car, I can drive to come get you. No, I gotta go to sleep. You know, she she sleeps all freaking morning. And it's like, you know, I can't, I can't, you know, some people are night people. Some people are morning people. I am prefer, I am a night person. I love, you know, I love being up at night. I'm more creative at night. <laughs> you know? uh, but my kids require me to be up, so I gotta do it. You know, but I don't know. Um... I have to go do some crafting or something because I just need to mellow it out and work through my issues. You know, and I have to I have to come to de come to grip with the fact that she doesn't want to hang with me because I don't do drugs. I'm not, you know, I don't do drugs anymore. I don't, you know, I I can't wait until le pot becomes legal. You can smoke it. No, then I then I can maybe hang with her and you know not be so whatever. But. Uh, I don't like feeling like my friends can't hang out with me because they can't control their own damn kids. I mean, yeah. How is that my fault? I said that, you know, I'll, okay, when her kid was over at my house, I said that I'm, I've got stuff hanging there. You know, my beads were, I just dipped them and they're dry. And he goes over and grabs them all like this. And, and then he has, throws a big fucking fit like it's my fault he went and got into that shit no oh you know and I was just trying to be nice I was trying to offer them my my home because they uh were needed somewhere to be for an hour and a half before they went to an appointment and they don't live in town but no I mean the girl was um polite enough she kept getting into my beads but that's okay she just was looking at the beads I mean they're cool looking to look at. If you look at them, I mean, yeah. But no, how is it my fault your kids can't control themselves? Why is it? Why do you have to make me feel like it's my fault? This is irritating for me. I'm very frustrated right now that, I don't know. May, see, like, I have to work through, well, maybe it is my fault. Maybe it is my fault why, you know, she doesn't want to hang with me because it's my fault because I don't want to hang with with her when she has her kids. I mean, that's the same with that one friend of mine who had that little boy who dug into my crap without my permission for the swim bag. I mean, yeah, I don't want to be around her kids either because her kids are even worse than this other lady's kids. And it's like, why, why do I have to be punished for other people's bad parenting behaviors? My kids knew better. If I told my, when I, when I was on the phone and they came over to bother me, I'd be like, be quiet, I'm on the phone, you know, and then they would and go do something, go play, I'm, you know, I'm busy, you know, they would get the message because they know that if they keep bothering the bear, the bear's gonna, you know, they're gonna get in time out for it, you know, Ugh, just, no, why is it my fault that you can't control your damn kids, but, like I said, I have to work through that personally myself. Um, those are things that, you know, I have teenage kids. I don't deal with little brats. I can't deal with it because A, I'm not, I'm not a flim, flimsy kind of parent. I don't let kids walk all over me. In my house, that's just how I was raised. My dad did not let us walk, tell him what to do. No, kids do not tell parents what to do. That is not 
parenting. Your kids have no right to tell you what to do as an adult until you are an older person and you're losing your mind because of dementia or old age, then yes, your kids have the right to tell you what to do because they would know better by then, you know, but no, a two-year-old saying, no, I want to do this or this right now. No, that is not good parenting. And I don't know if I could ever get past that kind of feeling. I, I just don't know if I can. But um, to continuously be lied to, I, I have to work through that on my own. I mean, I can get over the, I mean, I can just deal with the fact that she doesn't want to hang with me because she's always got her kids, always has her brats. But, you know, I mean, I never wanted my kids to come off to other people like my kids were brats. When we'd go out in public, when my kids were real little, there was always somebody commenting on how well behaved my children were. And there was never a time when I'd have somebody look at my kids like, oh, control your kids, make them stop whining. No, because I would always take them and, you know, you know, get them to behave better. You know, just, I'm, I'm going to have to, um, it's just a emotional down kind of day right now. I'm probably going to go look at my app to see if it's going to rain. Otherwise, I'm going to go outside and I'm going to paint a bunch of papers. And I haven't even finished the first set of papers yet. Um, but all right. Uh, hopefully I didn't make too many people mad, but, and if you stayed through this whole video, good job. <laughs> but yeah, I gotta go be a creative person right now just to have the energies in my body work through the, you know, I just gotta work through things. So, okay. Bye.